Hey, Glass. Um, so I was sitting the other morning uh, putting together your uh, notes on uh, diffusion, and I realized um, a lot of the examples that you see online and the slides are kind of boring. Um, they show an example of diffusion where you have a food color dye and you drop it in water and you look at what happens, right? Well, I thought I would use something uh, that, that I do every once in a while, which is uh, I make my own coffee, my own cold brew coffee. And I was making it the other day and I saw that this is a really good example of diffusion. So I put together this video and a time lapse uh, of the brewing process to show you sort of a quick demonstration of diffusion. And so why do we care about this? So for my coffee, um, you know, the diffusion part of it is going to tell me how quickly I can get my coffee at my desired strength, right? How long does it take? Um, and then other things to think about are the grain size. So the coffee grounds, how large are they? Um, the water temperature, right? All of these things are things that we can connect to diffusion. And that's what you're going to see in the next video. But I want you to start thinking about those other aspects. Um, what does the ground size, the coffee ground size, how does that affect? How do you think that would affect the speed? Um, what about the water temperature? I used uh, just room temperature water. It's uh, February right now, so it's pretty cold. So what do you think would happen if it's a different temperature? Uh, so those are all things uh, to, to think about. And so that's what you're going to see in the next video is there's just plain tap water at uh, room temperature or water temperature uh, for February. And then I'm going to pour some grounds on the top and you're going to see that they more or less stay floating on the top. But the water gets into the beans, uh, dissolves these compounds that go into the coffee, and then they diffuse into that water and you'll see that diffusion process. So obviously it's more complex than just straight diffusion, atomic motion. Um, there is uh, dissolution of these compounds in the coffee. There's, uh, there's always some convection. Uh, you might see that in the video. It's hard to get rid of that completely. Uh, so I'm not going to say it's completely diffusion. There is some convection. Uh, but it is uh, an interesting problem to look at uh, for diffusion. So I'm going to speed it up uh, so that you don't have to watch the, the whole video, but I put a timer next to it so that you can see uh, how long this process takes. Uh, so um, here it is. Here's the, the demonstration showing you diffusion in coffee. Mm -hmm. 